Well, a controversial NOPD body camera video first got a gun charge dismissed in court. Then this week it sparked the dismantling of all district task force. Now Councilman Jason Williams is slamming the district attorney's office for not flagging that video sooner. Mike Perlstein has that story. This body camera video shows NOPD officers assigned to the 8th District Task Force deciding how to write up a gun arrest in a police report. Where was the gun? Oh, yeah, yeah. First yeah. Right there. Easy. We well, stopped two of his friends. He tries to sneak away. As soon as he sees us, you went to stop him. You put your hand on his waist. When you put your hand on his waist, you felt the gun. Hey, he hit it. Hey. He hit it. Why not? It's all good. That's the best we're happening. NOPD Superintendent Sean Ferguson announced last week that the department is investigating the officers to see if they were trying to get their story together to justify an unconstitutional search of the suspect in the French Quarter a couple of years ago. The state Supreme Court threw out that search. And while the NOPD is conducting its own review, Ferguson disbanded all district task forces. But today, City Councilman Jason Williams, chair of the Criminal Justice Committee, said the controversy never should have gotten that far. If that goes undealt with by the DA's office, then it, tacit or otherwise, then it creates an environment of operating with impunity. Williams said that in this case, the video should have been flagged by the DA's screening division, the unit that decides on the front end whether to even accept a case for prosecution. When a DA neglects to prudently perform his screening duties, it is not just unfair to the victims and to those charged, but it is also a slap in the face to the residents of the city. At a committee hearing earlier this week, Ferguson said he welcomes the additional oversight. But we are always open to anyone willing to report something to us. Again, it may not be misconduct that rises to the, the level of criminal action, sure. but still, it could be a training deficiency that we need to address at our academy. Now, if Councilman Williams' comment sounded like a campaign speech, we should note he has indicated he is running for district attorney. Now, we have reached out to the incumbent DA, Leon Canazero, for comment, but until then, reporting from City Hall, Mike Perlstein, Eyewitness News. And indeed, we did hear from the DA just a short time ago. In an email statement, Leon Canazero wrote that while he shares Chief Ferguson's concerns, he notes that his office was the first to provide the body cam video to defense attorneys and prosecutors sought review by the courts. Canazero said Williams, quote, grandstanding does not change those facts. Also, an attorney for the officers in the video said he believes the officers will be cleared of any wrongdoing.